Did you know that many residency hospitals in the USA have a year of graduation filter of 3 years or 5 years which means that if your year of graduation is more than 3 years you're not even eligible to apply as the competition is getting tougher and tougher with each year the emphasis on year of graduation is increasing to counter this the best solution is to get done with step 1 early during your graduation doing this will cut your year of graduation short by at least one or two years and it will help your situation massively this is everything medical and in this video we're going to talk about my experience taking usmle step 1 before graduation and the strategies i recommend for getting step 1 out of your way before graduating before we move on can you quickly subscribe to my channel as i will upload more videos about the step 1 study plan thank you so let's get one thing out of the way taking step 1 before graduation is way easier than taking it after graduation why The subjects are the same in both your college and step 1 curriculum. As you can see in this list, these subjects are tested in the step 1 and surely you have come across most of these in your college time. Remember, American grads take step 1 between the second and third year of their medical school, so why can't you? The main strategy is to use the right study materials that will not only help you get a great score in step 1, but also it will help you get through your college exams as well here's a short summary of my strategy for the first 2 years of medical school i only researched about usmle pathway then i got my usmle first year step 1 book i got the review books of each subject for step 1 then i merged my step 1 preparation with my college exam preparation In my final year I took 4 months for my dedicated study period where I did first aid jewel and NBMEs my study schedule I studied 4 hours minimum every day how didn't I get bored of studying and kill myself here's the good news step 1 books are not boring or exhausting like the big and huge college books because these books have more knowledge and less random bullshit they're easy to read so you feel satisfied after reading them Speaking of the most knowledgeable books, here is the most important book for step 1. It's called USMLE First Aid for Step 1. Trust me guys, this is the bible of step 1. You cannot pass your step 1 without this book. I started reading this book in my third year of medical school and I wish I had read this book since the very first year of my medical school. Reading the first aid helped me in identifying which topics are important for step 1 and which topics are not worth it. Whatever the topics I used to read for my college tests, I give them a read through first aid as well. Here's a pro tip for you. If you haven't started your USMLE journey yet, make this day the day one of your USMLE journey and get this book right now. Even if you don't intend to take step one for graduation, I highly recommend you to give it a read. It will work wonders for you. Links are in the description. Moving on to step one physiology. For physiology, most of the medical colleges make you read these huge monster-sized books, but keep in mind that these books are not suitable for step 1. For step 1, you need a review book specially written for step 1. Reading these review books will also make your concepts super strong and it should also cover the most important topics of step 1. The book that I recommend is BRS Physiology Review by Linda Costanzo. It has everything you need for step 1's physiology including the commonly tested concepts that you will only see in your advanced phase of study for step 1. But the language in BRS physiology can sometimes be too complex for a beginner. If you're like me who likes books written in a simple language, the book I used to read during my step 1 is Kaplan Physiology Lecture Notes. The best thing about Kaplan Physiology is that it makes the super complex concepts into fairly easy ones. So, I highly recommend this book based on my personal experience. In fact, most subjects in step 1 are very well covered by Kaplan Lecture Notes set. These subjects include anatomy, physiology, biochemistry and genetics, ethics, biostat, microbiology, immunology and pharmacology. My strategy was that during my second year of medical school I bought this whole set of Kaplan lecture notes and I used them for reviewing the concepts before every college exam of each subject because of this strategy I was in complete control of the step one concept and topics by the start of my fifth year so then I bought a UL at the time and I was more than ready to take up the toughest medical exam ever pro tip for you get the whole set of Kaplan lecture notes and read them alongside your college books 
For subjects like micro and pharma, you can totally replace your college books with Kaplan notes. Supplement your college exams with these notes. I promise it will go a long way. The link to buy them is in the description. But unfortunately, there are a few subjects which are not covered by Kaplan. Most notable is pathology. But good news, there is a super book for pathology. This book will not only cover your step one, but it will make you a master of pathology for your college exams as well. In fact, I use this book for my college exams of pathology and perform exceptionally well without reading any big pathology book like Robbins. I think you've guessed it. I'm talking about Pathoma. I'm a huge fan of its author Dr. Sattar, but the book is not actually the best thing. The best thing are the video lectures that come with it. I swear by Pathoma lectures, they're so good that after watching them, you'll start competing with your class topper in terms of concepts. To get the series of his lectures, I've pasted the link in the description. To summarize how to take step 1 before graduation, first get the step 1 review books, read step 1 books before the college exam of each subject, for pharma and micro replace the college book with Kaplan notes, for pathology read pathoma and watch pathology lectures, make full use of your college vacations. Read USMLE first aid at least twice before starting your dedicated study. In your fourth or fifth year of medical school, allocate at least four to six months for a dedicated study period where you will do important stuff like first aid, U world, and NBMEs. The plan for dedicated study period is a huge topic in itself, and I've already made a video on that as well. So check out that video in the top right corner of your screen. For the written form of my experience, check the description box. To get the mentioned book, links to the official stores are in the description box that's it for you today guys and i'll see you in the next video